In today's rapidly advancing technology and materialism and consumerism, I've heard this said, it lives in some of the populace that the mystic arts are a practice that could easily be dismissed as some archaic holdover. But I see that you do stand firm in their relevance and offering services to help others to mm -hmm. really attune to the unseen forces and past lives. And it's not some mere parlor trick or performance, but it's something yeah. that you approach as a true calling. What is the ethical obligation you feel as a medium and a channeler? You have to go about your readings in a compassionate way. So no matter what or who comes through, you have to think about how, who the person is, what the message is, how that's going to affect the person you're reading for. Mm -hmm. For example, there's lots of times where when I'm doing an evidential reading, a person comes through who was an abuser or someone who was not pleasant to the person I was reading for, that I'm reading for. When I see that and I sense it, I have to ask them if they even want to hear from that person. And sometimes they say no. And sometimes they're like, no, I need to hear that. That's what they're going for. I need to heal this. Other ethical things about mediumship is you can't necessarily go seeking for the people to read for. You can't go out on the street and be like, oh, hey, you, your grandma says whatever. That's not acceptable because you don't know what that person's beliefs are. They might think that I'm talking to demons or something. I'm going to scare them. That's not acceptable. So you have to let the people that want the services come to you.